One of the things, I'm just going to go on a complete tangent here, but one of the things that struck me as really funny is the fight sequences in the book. Uh, the fact that pirouetting <laughs> was in every single fight scene, I was dying. I was like, are you kidding me? Like, I've never heard of a pirouette ever in any fight scene ever <laughs> yeah. outside of this book. And every single fight scene, <laughs> every single one was like, it was then that Gerald did three pirouettes. And... Uh, <laughs> You know, smack his person in the face. It's almost like the only thing they taught you in Carrie Morgan was how to pirouette. And for some reason, <laughs> if you're pirouetting, nobody can hit you with a sword. And it just makes you the best fighter ever. Do you know the definition of a pirouette? No, I have no idea. Well, the way I, I picture like a ballet pirouette. Like I literally, right, that's what I, I picture Gerald like taking out a sword and just like doing like four pirouettes like this and like slashing people at the same time. Oh, it's unbelievable. And even... Even remember at the very end of the book when Siri has to like quickly, I, I was like, there's no way they're going to throw a pirouette in this one. <laughs> when, when Siri has to um, escape during the bar fight. Yeah. She pirouettes. <laughs> she pirouettes out of danger. Like, yeah. Literally, she's like, ooh. Like the guy's about to kill, um, I forget his name now, but basically it's like Kayla or Kaylo, Kaylee or something yeah. like that. The guy's about to kill Kaylee and Siri literally pirouettes into him to stop it. I was like, this is unbelievable with the pirouettes. I just, I, mean, I was just so shocked. I was like, when has anybody ever seen a pirouette in sword fighting? It's almost like the guy just made it up and he was just like, I don't even know, like a pirouette fetish or something. Like he was just like really like, he's like, ooh, I love pirouettes. Every single fight sequence. We're going to be pirouetting. I think, I kind of think it was a bad translation because they were other words that kept coming up. Like they used impetus instead of momentum. Like they used the word impetus in the book so many times. Yeah, but that is kind of like interchangeable though. We understand. Yeah. Impetus is a synonym for momentum. But they only ever use that one word. So I would <laughs> think like as a translator, you would want to mix it up because like the fact that I noticed the repeated use of the word impetus means like it was kind of overused Uh uh-huh and also um like i know the second book is called time of contempt but they used contempt over and over and over again and i'm wondering if like the book was originally written in polish and translated so i and like the writing overall didn't seem overly like um nimble so i think oh totally it's not a pro stylist type of situation yeah so very content based yeah, and I sort of wonder if the translation doesn't have something to do with that. Maybe. Too. Because, yeah, calling it the constant pirouettes and... The that... pirouettes are unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Even in general, the fight sequences to me weren't really, like, well drawn. Like, I talk about that, that haze that exists all over the book. The fight yeah. sequences especially, I would read them over and over again, like, four times. Like, what happened? To picture it, Like, yeah. all I'm getting out of this is pirouetting. <laughs> <laughs> 